All I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. But it's a big problem in Georgia, and it's, it's not a problem that's going away. I mean, you know, it's not a problem that's going away. President Trump was right. It hasn't gone away. Not by a long shot. A special purpose grand jury is now meeting in Atlanta to investigate what happened. Its primary focus? The phone call from President Trump to Secretary Raffensperger. This is the ninth season of Breakdown from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, the Trump grand jury. We'll look at what criminal statutes may come into play and what evidence is needed to bring such charges in a court of law. We'll explore perhaps the most important and controversial question looming over this case. Is there proof of criminal intent? The new district attorney in Fulton County is Fonnie Willis. She's the first woman to have the job. If you live in the free world and in a democracy, um, the first duty of the government is to keep people safe, which is why we have police officers and a district attorney's office. But I think it is also equally fundamentally important that the government make sure in a free society that people can vote and that is not infringed upon by anyone. And the allegations were quite frankly, not civil wrongdoing, but a crime. I'm Bill Rankin, legal affairs reporter for the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. And I'm senior reporter Tamar Hallerman. I covered the Trump presidency as the AJC's Washington correspondent. Now Bill and I will follow every step of this extraordinary proceeding. We have no idea how this will play out, but it's possible, it's possible, this case will affect the course of U.S. history. That's why Breakdown will be there, coming this summer. So please follow us on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast so you don't miss season nine of Breakdown, the Trump Grand Jury from the Atlanta Journal-Constitution.